Okay, so we're going to try to attach the vent pipe today for the Pell Pro uh, Pellet Heater. And we've got the wall prepped. I actually have to move the electrical box. It was dead center where the vent was going to go, so I had to move it. My drywall skills are sorely uh, underwhelming, um, but I'm going to do my best from here on. We're just test fitting this pipe, the vent pipe for the chimney. Then I'm going to pull the pellet stove back and then I'll start working on that wall. Alright, so the chimney, the cap here is seven. So the middle point of that is three and a half. So that is how I'm going to determine nothing. All right, we get a seven inch outer hole that we're gonna cut out. The inner one represented where the pipe touched. That's how we centered up the hole for the first place. Just dry fitting it, looks like it's about right. Now I'm gonna put in the cool air vent as well so we can have that circuit. Right, so I've come outside to see where I've drilled the long hole through. It goes right into the center of the main chimney vent. And I'm gonna push it through. I'm gonna need to come 17 inches from here, approximately over to here to clear the next stud. Because I wanna put the, um, the fresh air vent right about there. And I want to set it up so that I don't wind up in an awkward position. And I think no matter what I do with this vent, it's going to be a bit of a problem. I think I'm still kind of stuck. No matter how I want to cut this, it's going to not be pretty. But I'm still better to do it underneath there and can come up with something I can jerry-rig under here. I haven't, I was smart enough not to drop the red pen. Did I drop the red pen? I did. Hang on a second, you can stop that. And there it is. We are through.
Achtung! Well, I'm back, about to put up the pipe. Had to stop, gave myself a nice cut on my hand. This pipe is sharp. And for anyone who attempts to do this, again, I was, I was quick. I, will, I did not take the time and I knew better to wear protective gloves and I didn't. And it was my fault, I went to twist it. It gave myself a nice razor sharp cut right in my thumb. But we've got it all bandaged up. We're ready to go. We're gonna finish this job. All right, I, unfortunately also, I, my tripod just broke, so it's just been a stellar day. So I'm not gonna actually be able to show you uh, all the steps of me putting up, but basically, we're gonna be twisting it into place like a, you know, just a side twist. And we're also gonna be using this clamp that will go to the wall. It'll be secured as well and tightened by a screw and a um, bolt and a nut there. And then, hopefully I can then go in. To give myself a well the garden's looking rough well we got it up after a cut and much struggle we have got it up and secure I'm pretty happy with the the J channel around it and our um, air vent as well we're pretty good I put some extra green brackets behind it because uh, it wasn't the bracket wasn't sitting flush uh, the clabberts so and um, I don't know what to say, except that I am pleased. Well, when I get not too pleased, I still got to deal with um, the other big deal. Got to wait 24 hours for the um, RTV to dry up inside. And then we will come back out here, double check everything one more time. Alright, so I think I finally primed it right. I was getting the flashing amber light, which was not good. It was turning into a shutdown sequence, but now we've got solid green. We're happy for the moment. It says it can take up to 20 minutes. We'll see what happens. Flashing green means continuous blinking. Stove is in the start of an ignition sequence. So we're happy so far. I can hear it. Tiny little noises inside. Oh yeah. She's alive. She's alive. I just heard it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's starting guys. Oh, unfortunately we can't see it. But, trust me. Oh, there they go. You can actually see it a little bit. You're seeing the reflection of my boots, but. It has begun. Pellets have begun to fall. A few here and there. Honey! You got fire? It's crazy! <gasps> wow, that's fire! Fire!
those pellets are dropping in and you can definitely see the paint curing we have windows open here in the room not the ones opposite of the pellet stove though so we don't want the draft of smoke to come back in but we definitely have curing occurring you can see it maybe you don't see it here on the film but it is coming off the paint is curing um, which is fine we've got this going now for how long 10 minutes you know, a little under. So what we'll do is, in, in a total of 30 minutes, we're supposed to stop. And it is roaring. I mean, it's roaring. Um, when that's done curing in another 20 minutes or so, we're supposed to shut it down, let it cool down, and then we're supposed to clean out the pot inside. And then we should be at normal operation.